what is up everybody back at it again with another jungle tier list patch 14.23 this one i'm going to show you guys all the changes that happened on the patch we're going to go over them and i'll quickly tell you what is important for you to know going into this patch so here's the jungle tier list zoom in zoom out you're going to see all the champions in the glory so here we're going to go quickly and check out the changes so this is going to be the patch notes that just came out so quickly ambessa i personally think ambessa is really good jungle but also she's just very broken i think if more people went voltanic cycle sword and they did the build that i was showing i think her win rate would be at least 50 percent but overall, this champion's busted. I actually think mid lane Ambassa, Ambassa is the strongest champion in the game right now. And it's very, very broken. So Ambessa, Q cooldown, four seconds, actually really good for jungle because there was periods where you would be like holding your second Q to go to the next camp and it would time out. This will help you because it's 0.5 seconds longer and it's like a huge change in general. So Ambessa, huge win. She will probably get nerfed. So hopefully you abuse her before that's too late big change big 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 change who is this the kazix the bug he has not directly been nerfed even though he's been s plus category and this nerf is actually quite big and what i'm going to tell you is base armor nerfs for a champion like the bug he's squishy you can stomp the bug and this nerf is actually huge like this is four armor level one on a kazix whose clear isn't the healthiest so he's gonna be a lot lower hurting a lot more walking to camps feeling danger my rex side appear out of nowhere in the shadows and devour him like the prey he is but overall it's a big nerf and i think kazix got hurt a lot from it and the isolation slow honestly it does suck for kazix but this one 60 percent is still a pretty big slow but i think the armor one is the real game changer but this really hurts his scaling i think if i was to play kazix i would probably go q evolution into r now instead of w just because of all the nerfs that the w has received next big change mastery ulti attack speed going up so you can see right away it's actually only going up at rank 11 and 16 16 by far the most so what does this do? It just means the scaling is much better. It's actually an okay buff, but this is like a low ELO buff much more because Master Yi can just stomp people when he's already outscaled them that much. So overall, this doesn't really change him for high ELO or higher ELO. It's just a nice buff when you're going into like very late games very often Master Yi, which is generally very hard to do in, in high ELO. Next, we have Ramus. So the Ramus buffs were very positive. I mean, if you have, if you get four seconds off your main ability, it's a pretty good buff. So Ramus is quite happy about it. It's really good for his early game. He's just in a good spot now. So if you played him before, you're going to be happy with those changes for sure. Rel, I don't honestly don't know why they keep wasting time changing Rel every three weeks. This champion is disgusting. I don't even like her. I never want to see this champion on the patch notes again. Riot, why are you wasting so much time on champs like Rel? Rework after rework. I could literally fix this in two weeks and we never have to go back to it. She needs to stop getting changes because it's just really boring. And also going to Rengar. So Rengar, honestly, this buff. People were like, oh my god, Rengar's going to one-shot me from the brush. Sh shut up. No. This buff is nothing. It's a joke. 50% total AD to 100%. That's half an auto attack. It's really not that much. His total AD scaling isn't scary. It's bonus AD scaling that Rengar is terrified with, right? If this bonus, if it went to bonus AD and into like two, four hundred percent, yes, that would be terrifying. But this is literally nothing. And this is three armor reduction. It really doesn't fix Rengar's huge problems. I think Rengar is just terrible because he cannot assassinate. They went through a change of nerfing everyone's damage, all of the items, everything, right? He's stuck in the old century where he wants to one-shot people and items aren't broken enough for him to do that. So he either needs to be changed where he can actually be a viable bruiser or he has to be so broken that he can just one-shot because he has literally no escape. So he goes in, he has to kill. Next we have Shivana. Shivana, I didn't know she was going to get nerfed. I thought she was performing decently. So Shivana nerfs were actually pretty big. She's going down a lot in the tier list. Skarner as well dropped down a lot. He's okay, but honestly, unless you one-trick him, you're not going to have a good time with him. A few other changes. Teemo Jungle is pretty much dead. This was his main farming ability, so he's only good if you one-trick him and you know how to play him. Zack, for some reason, got nerfed because of toppling Zack or something like that. The nerf was actually insane. Zack, you're going to see on my jungle tier list, is so low now because of this change. I wouldn't be surprised for them to buff it and put it at 3.5% max health because 4% max health is way too much. Or not, sorry. For, to go from 4% to 3% is way too much, and he really has to have it at, like in the middle for sure. Next, we have the collector nerfs. Absolutely did nothing. I still go it a lot of times on my second item. Ghostblade nerf, 
for range champions did absolutely nothing it really doesn't change how broken grades is you still abuse it as you can see in my tier list this is actually really good on 80 carries i could see the meta shifting a lot for 80 carries and lastly let's go over the bounty system bounty system is actually really good for jungle changes because as a jungler you're going to notice you're going to spike hard on a lot of random kills you've been gathering now it's going to be much more forgiving for you especially if you're on the losing team as a jungler i hated it when i was on the losing team and i got a bunch of kills trying to carry these rats and all of a sudden i'm worth 600 gold i died of the fed 80 carry jinx and now she just got 600 bonus gold when she's already 10k up made absolutely no sense so these changes are really good and positive so here we go over the individual champions now that was my patch notes and as you can see graze the very top Graves Jungle still very broken. I think he needs direct nerfs, not that placebo in direct ghost blade collector nerf. Please ride. Directly nerf him next time. It's not that hard to see he's so high up in his percentage of win rate that nerfing ghost blade by five movement speed isn't gonna make him not one shot you with his ch -ch -ch shotgun. Next we have a Viego. Viego. He's looking real good. I think Viego is in a nice spot. He always comes back when other champions are getting nerfed to the ground. Somehow he's so invisible. His camouflage on his E. Beautiful for dodging nerfs because he's still up there for some reason. Very strong picks. S tier category. I really like S tier champions right now. Except for Karthus. But Karthus has been doing a really good job because he can just AFK, kill everyone while everyone's farming. While everyone's fighting, he could just farm and kill everyone with his AP scaling. Disgusting champion. I don't like him. Nocturne is my Nocturne is my boy. I've been recommending him. I've been having a lot of fun with Lethal Tempo Nocturne with the Stridebreaker Collector, Stridebreaker Lethality build, but also just straight up Bruiser. Stridebreaker into Cleaver is really broken right now. I'm anti Hextech, so don't talk about Hextech with me. Next, we have Elise. Elise, honestly, she is the queen right now. Very solid AP jungler. I just think she's so strong early game. Her pressure for objectives are really good. And a lot of this meta, in my opinion, somehow, some way, it ends up being a Void Grubs fight. And you need to have power for Void Grubs. It's not about diving towers as much, which she is really good at. It's about fighting for Void Grubs on River or fighting for Dragon afterwards. She's actually very good for that. Her scaling, obviously, is still not the best, but she's actually not that bad compared to other champions when it comes to jungle scaling. So she is a very good AP jungler. She's my favorite right now. I play a lot of her and Nocturne with my girl Briar here in the A tier category. So A tier champions, personally, I think Briar is S tier, but I want to be very patient as I play more with the build that I've been doing. Titanic into Stride Break, or Titanic into Cleaver, Titanic into Collector. Been feeling really good with Lethal Temple. I think if more people went Lethal Temple on Briar, she would be... S like her win rate would spike so hard. So just Briar, very juicy right now. Very good. Next we have Mbessa. People don't know how to play her, but I think she's a broken champion. Obviously, lower you low, she's hard to win on. And I think her win rate reflects that. But she is broken. And maybe they'll buff her for jungle specifically and they'll nerf her for top and mid. But I like playing her and I have fun playing her. So I really like Mbessa. Vi jungle, I, I really do like Vi right now. I think she's a really great champion. So if you play Vi right now, Arcane Season 2 came out. You are getting that buff that's occurring. And it's very good. And by Triforce into Cleaver, Triforce Thunder Sky, pick your poison. Both are very strong. Velvet, I honestly don't care for her too much. I think she was a letdown of a champion, so I'm not going to discuss her. But she's good if you want trick her. Hecarim's rising a lot. Honestly, Hecarim, some Hecarim builds. I think Hecarim's in a good spot. I think he's going to rise a lot as these hard matchups for him get nerfed. Like, Graves is quite hard for him. And I think if he is able to kind of like dodge people a lot and, you know, like his items don't get directly nerfed, I could see Hacker being S tier next batch. So we'll see how it all plays out. Shaco, Shaco the Demon, personally, he's a one trick jungler. So I don't like putting them too high when they're winning, like, is like in certain positions. But yeah, he is very good right now with his builds. His AD builds specifically has been performing quite well. Kane, Shadow Kane is actually quite strong right now with his. Build paths with Ghost Blade, obviously, I, like I talked about, Ghost Blade is very juicy right now. It's live or die by Ghost Blade for a lot of these Lethality or Assassin junglers. So, Ghost Blade, if it gets nerfed, you can see a lot of these junglers drop down. Another one would be Talon. Ghost Blade, real juicy on him. He is hard, he is tricky, he is a one trick jungler, but he is very good right now, as you can tell by my videos. Monkey, monkey, see, monkey, do. I recommend you guys start practicing Wukong. I think next patch is going to be even stronger. I think Triforce into whatever Cleaver, Sunder Sky built super good right now. 
I think the monkey is back for sure with the changes he has. And I'm very confident to say that you will be gaining, gaining a lot of LP if you get on the Wukong train right now. If you played him before, he's a bit tricky. He's an engaged jungler. You have to know how to play him. But he is very good. Next, we have Warwick. A lot of won't. A lot of players have been quite upset about the Warwick changes. I personally don't care for them. But he is performing well. Stats don't lie. He is winning a lot of games. So he is still a very strong champion. You may feel different if you one-tricked him. It may feel clunky to you. One person's clunky is another person's smooth, right? Some people find it very good. So hard to say. But yeah, Kazakhs, I was being very respectful by keeping him in A tier. He could be B tier right now with the nerfs. But overall, he's still very solid because the one-trick base on him is very good. But overall, Kazix is not happy where, where he's going with the nerfs. Diana, she is up there for AP junglers. She is looking better and better. But overall, Nashers does feel like a weak item on her. So Nashers as an item, if it gets buffs, I think Diana would be really happy. Next, we have B tier. B tier champions overall are pretty much forgettable. Honestly, I think if you don't play like A to S tier champions right now, you're in a bad position as a jungler because the meta just feels so lopsided in the top side heavy because early fights are important. If your champion is weak early or you can't properly fight or scale, you're going to be in a bad position. For example, Mumu Lilia are just not the best pair champions right now because they relied heavily on Leandris. And the Leandris ended up getting nerfed and they are stuck because they individually got nerfed because of Leandris. So they are just in a sad, decent state B tier. Next, we have Jinjar. Jinjar could be A tier, but honestly, he does struggle a lot. I'm not sure exactly what his biggest weakness would be, but overall, Jinjar could be a lot better than he is. Fiddle, same thing. AP jungler. Not some... Like, there are... It's not really a good AP jungle meta, I would say, after the Faded Ashes nerfs, after the Leandri's nerf. You're, a lot of those junglers are down there. Same with Fiddle. Echo, one-trick jungler. You have to one-trick it to really play him. I think his win rate's inflated because of one-tricks. Jarvan, he is an engaged jungler. He should be really good, but he does struggle a bit with how much mobility there is in the game right now, especially with a lot of things that are being played right now. I feel like Jarvan has just not been performing well. His early game just doesn't feel as strong. Same with Kindred. Honestly, the nerfs before really hurt her early game, and she's a cheesy jungler. She relies snowball. She needs to get stacks early. If she's not strong early, she's not going to scale late, right? So obviously, Kindred is in a sad spot. Nunu honestly could be A tier. I think Nunu is actually quite strong. Why? Because he's amazing gang. So he's also really good around Void Grubs. And a lot of this game is really about these Void Grubs fights because they honestly just win the game because how many, you're able to get so many tower plates and tower plates translates to gold. Gold translates to the items. Getting faster item spikes is really getting stronger and getting more dragons, you know? So it all correlates in the end. Rek'Sai, poor queen, high... I really would love to see more love to her, but right now she's not in the best. Skarner and Ramus, we already spoke about them, so we're going to skip that. Udyr, Leandri's abuse are disgusting. Don't talk about him. C tier, C tier, C tier. Nidalee, I don't know what she is anymore. Timo, we already spoke about him. Gragas, terrible. Don't play Gragas right now. We already talked about these two. Volibear is kind of sad case. I really like Volibear, but the E nerfs because of the Navori build was really sad to see. I think they should have nerfed him in a different way. But right now, he's kind of struggling because the E cooldown is really important for him. It's for his jungle to clear his early game, you're not going to have Navori till way later. And a lot of jungle, you don't really need Navori too. So jungle Volibear got hit really hard because of top lane nerfs. And a fairy jungle, again, lethality items nerfs. If his clear was a bit faster, I think he'd be a very strong champion. Talia, Gwen, again, weak AP junglers. Can't fight, can't feast in this meta. Jax jungle also relied heavily on certain things. Getting nerfed because of top lane Jax hurts him a lot. Dr. Munder, honestly, I'm putting him higher just because low elo seems to be stomping. A infinite scaling HP is somehow uncountable by people not building Boric. So Mundo seems to perform well. Evelyn, AP jungle, don't want to talk about her. D tier, don't play these champions. They're not that good. And I recommend you just try not to play them. Like if I was to advise you, I'd say like you should play like these these junglers like if you play this top hemisphere of the champions i think you're going to perform really well and i hope you guys like that tier list be sure to like a subscribe if you haven't already comment let me know if i missed something if you want me to go over or answer some questions i always feel free to message me there and yeah good luck in the game good luck on the climb i'll see you guys next time adios